Okay, you see some nice root mass here. And, uh, and what we're trying to do, you see these nodules? They, uh, uh, these are bacteria working uh, in the roots to uh, uh, produce nitrogen to feed the crop. The soy beans, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a taller plant, I'm trying to get it to branch, and I'm trying to get more pods set. So in every area, I want five pods. What happens when it's hot, the flowers keep aborting. So with our products, we can keep the flowers set, setting. Mm. So last year, I uh, did it uh, one day at a farmer's. I gave him some uh, True Foss Platinum. We uh, sprayed part of the field. We have a check. We did it in two fields. And that day, it went up to 32 degrees. The flowers on board where we sprayed. We got a, a 9.6 and a 10.4 bushel response increase. With uh, Kip Colors in the States, he gets 150, 160 bushels a year. What he does, big root mass early. So that's our Trio Max or True Foss Platinum or Manza Foss Max, Max Plus. Then we get the plant growth. That's a couple uh, True Foss Platinums with our herbicide or Manza Foss Max Plus. And then when it gets hot, once we start getting flowers from uh, uh, reproductive system R1 to R5, we'll spray when it's hot. We'll keep setting flowers. We're going to get the big yields. So what we're after is trying to maximize the yields and uh, we're trying to get a plant that just set from top to bottom. We're trying to get three to five per set. We're trying to get a branch so there's more air surface area, and uh, we're after a good, good production. And then at the end, um, you'll see at the top, um, we'll get these little little pods at the top. We want those set and those seeds big. We, those are our Florida pods. That sends us to Florida if we get them sized up and get some extra bushels per acre. Okay, so that's what we're doing with soybeans. Uh, trying to maximize our yields. You look at corn, most corn will produce one year, okay? Now here's one start of a second, but it's not gonna be any good. Now each primordia, leaf primordia can produce in a year potentially. I'm trying to produce two years on a lot of the corn. I'm also trying to make the corn a little longer and I'm trying to send extra two rows. Because the uh, corn, even the same variety, depending on the stress, will uh, uh, say around the fourth leaf, it determines how many rows are in that corn. Every three kernels per year gives me one bushel more per acre, okay? So if I can get another 60 kernels, I got 20 bushels. Not all the question. So here, here's a here's a here's an isolated corn. Okay, it's towards the outside, and there's another one there. It's produced two years, okay, because there's more sunlight. So what I'm trying to do with uh, 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 the True Foss Platinum, Manza Foss Max Plus, our Trio Max, we're trying to get stronger roots. We're trying to get two years set. So if I'm going to get a year set, maybe a uh, maybe a leaf six, leaf seven. I'm trying to set more. I'm trying to also get a bigger crop uh, plant so I got more leaf surface area to feed those ears, to fill them out. I'm trying to get a strong root early to uh, actually get more kernels here. Uh, with the gibberellic acid, I'm trying to make a bigger ear, a longer ear, so there's more kernels this way. So I'm trying to get two ears. So one year, say I'm getting uh, 150 bushels. If I can get two the same, I could be at 300 bushels. If I set more uh, kernels, make them bigger, no stress, uh, so it fills out at the end with a taller plant. I might be able to hit 400 bushels. And the average in the United States of corn probably wouldn't be, um, probably close to about maybe 200 bushels, okay? But uh, we know we can get better. The highest genetic potential, say, in a bag of corn or soybeans is right there in the bag. From that point of planting, it goes downhill from there, okay? Weather conditions, uh, nutrients not getting there at times, their uh, soil conditions, oh, there's a lot of things.